Hello friends and fellow journalists. I hope you're having a great time there. I wanted very much to join you today and I'm sorry I couldn't attend. AAJA asked me to answer a few questions in this video message and first of all to talk about the journey I had in prison earlier this year. I'll just say that it was of course psychologically challenging but I think many political prisoners in Iran today are facing a much more difficult situation, possibly including physical torture. Something that helped me while I was in prison was to learn about efforts that various individuals and groups were making to push for my release. I want to thank AAJA and all the others who made these efforts. Without this support, it's very possible I could still be in prison today, like the many other journalists who remain behind bars in Iran. I was also asked if I, could have, if I would have any advice for journalists who want to work abroad doing what I did. This is a wide-ranging question, but I'll try my best to summarize the main points. First of all, if you're a freelancer, you might want to choose a country where there are fewer foreign reporters so that your coverage will be more in demand. Secondly, if you know how to use more than one medium, for example, if you learn how to prepare TV, radio, and print reports, then you can be much more versatile. More and more foreign correspondents are learning how to shoot and edit TV reports and then easily convert them to radio and online stories. Third, try to mix in with the local culture as much as possible and learn the local language. Of course, you can work through a translator, but it's never the same as speaking directly with the people, and they'll feel much more comfortable around you. Fourth, in certain countries, you may have to learn how to balance pressures by the host government, your boss, and your own conscience to do your job. This balance can sometimes be hard to strike, and in the process, there may be risks involved. For example, even though you might believe you're observing the law, in some countries, certain authorities consider themselves above the law. One thing I learned after my recent experience is that in certain foreign countries, it's a good idea to have a close friend check in on you every night at a certain hour. And tell that person, if for some reason your phone is shut off at that time, to assume that you're in trouble. Or if you answer and give some kind of code like, I have a stomach ache, or something like that. This can also set off an alarm for your friend. Getting to know the local legal system is also a good idea. For those of you who want to work as a journalist abroad, keep courage because there are so many stories out there that need to be told to the public. You might have to make sacrifices along the way, but you can also find it very rewarding. Good luck with everything and have a great weekend.